It's that time again. What's up, everybody? This is Dad's Land and Fab. Hope you enjoy the show. Deuces. <laughs> Took it. Uh, Good. I'm glad you remembered, mate. Watch out. Watch. Nearly knocking all my gear off here. Oh, we're gear live. And no idea. We are live, yeah. Oh, we're live. We're live. Boom! Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another show of Dad's Lads and I, need a kebab. I could murder a kebab. Yeah, you go to prison though. So probably not best. For a kebab, you'd murder. I could demolish a kebab. Welcome <laughs> to another show this week. Mickey Boy, how are you doing, sir? I'm okay. I'm a bit sad. Because I spent the last two weeks looking for fucking lights in the sky that just are not there. I missed uh, the northern lights. I was asleep, asleep. Every time, I was, every time. I was, a, I was a fucking sleep because it was obviously, it was a Friday night and I'd been working a week. And last I was, Friday night. I was very tired. So, very tired. And I just... You missed them. You missed them, I, basically. I didn't really the long take job it. Is. I didn't really take them. it serious. I saw on Facebook, oh, Northern Lights, yeah, yeah, whatever. And then half the world fucking Seen showed. Them. I mean, all the their UK. Pictures. <laughs> yeah, shush, shush. And, and, excuse me, and Sweden, and like some of Sweden. Europe, America, Canada, they all saw it. So Sweden see them all the time, surely. They see them quite a lot. Probably. But They're I did quite spend, high up. I did spend the next night in a country park at midnight on a bench, coffee and a flask, looking at the sky on my own. <laughs> Do you know how many people turned up? There's about eight, nine cars just kept coming in just before midnight. And I'm thinking, yeah. I'm either... <laughs> I thought that. All right. They went in the car park and I'm at the bench near the car park and I thought, they're either going to try and fuck me, they're either going to attack me and kill me, or they're just going to look in the sky. And Mickey luckily, boy. they, Just giving they it, were looking giving in the flash. sky. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> no. So, uh, <laughs> oh. I missed them. I still take photos at night time. Just on the off chance, I check, I Stop. follow all the stuff. You're just going too far into it now. <laughs> I still take photos at night time in country parks. <laughs> Mickey, no, that's at my house it's, time to, it's time to call it quits on that one, I'm afraid. It's all right now. They haven't caught me yet. <laughs> Just no. No, mate. No, no my friend. No. So, oh. that's, that's been one thing. And my car is, has been fucked. Nearly oh, fucked. Fuck and now it's fixed again. Jinx. We jinxed it, man. We're both... Oh, don't. Let's talk about I've, cars. Wheel bearings. Back ones. Oh. Buckled wheels. Bent axles. Front wheel bearings. Let's just say nearly a grand later. And fingers crossed, touch wood, all that shit. It'll last you two weeks. <laughs> it's um, it, it's good. Car trouble's the worst, right? Car trouble is, but, the, is the financial burden that we everybody hates to pay for. Mm, it just goes up. The price just goes up and up and up. Mm -hmm. Every Agreed. time. A little thing Agreed. could be like, well, that's £100 labour. What? <laughs> That's just to, to have a look at it. And then you've got to pay for the part. <laughs> and it's okay. Like, you don't I go to a garage anymore and spend 40, 50 quid on a little job. It's, it's, at, least, it's at least that's 200. Before, that's to talk to you. That's how much they charge you <laughs> to talk. Before COVID, yeah. COVID prices. Oh, God. No. I mean, car issues are the worst. I've had, in the past month, I've had mm -hmm. two new tyres. Both nails. I've had. Oh yeah, the in, the, the indiscretion of basically somebody. Um, yeah, sorry. Decided to sideswipe my car in a school Bastards. car park on a school, school run. School run. Fuck the school. School parents are fucking awful. They just park anyway all over the road in people's driveways did, on children. It's fucking disgusting. Did they leave a note? No. No. Of course they don't. Did they drive off and just not say a fucking thing? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, and I obviously drove home, didn't know nothing about it until I parked outside the house. 
and literally my wife went out to go get back in the car and go off somewhere and she went where did you park on the on the school run i said oh normal space just in the car park she was like oh yeah you probably want to have a look at the car i was like oh here we go oh. big red big red scratch all across the back wheel arch and the door I was like, for fuck's sake paint gone it's not so- it's not even it's not even just a it's not even just a quick one it's a so what did you do the next day? Went in the school car park looking for red cars, looking for the white paint, and then you smashed the fucking windows. <laughs> you got the knives out, stabbing the tires. I didn't. I didn't. No? I have been looking. I haven't seen the car since. Well, I didn't see the car. I haven't no. seen a car with set white paintwork or scratches. I haven't seen any. Is it? So I'm a bit like. Is it just normal red or is it like weird red like mine? Just normal no, red? No, it's like. It's like a red, red. Uh, proper red. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, maybe wow. I was I was swiped by somebody just going past because it's the main road. So, uh... and there's a pub next door to the, where the school is. So it could have been someone you just uh... going in there. So I have looked around, but at the same time, I was like, right, what do I do? What do you do? Someone sideswipe your car. What do you do? And I was like, fuck sake, here we go. And I thought, as soon as I thought, soon as you ring the insurance and i know people are going to comment and go you should have done it for your insurance you know you because apparently nah. if you do your own repairs it's void and all that sort of stuff like it's it's a side swipe someone scratched my car all right and i thought if i go through my insurance the excess will be a fucking stupid amount the, the, yeah and then my premiums will go up i'll lose all my years and no claims and i just thought fuck sake what do i do so I looked around at repairs and I looked at this, there's companies that come out to your house and they will just repair it. And I was like, oh, how much is that? Like four or 500 quid <laughs> to, to, to come on. And I'm talking because they have like sizes, like something like that big is like a couple hundred quid to have it removed, repaired. And I was like, fuck me. Like there is fucking, there is money to be made in everything that goes wrong in this world. There is now. Everyone jumps on it. I was thinking a little scratch, technically scratch repair. Do you know what I mean? And I was like, well, what the fuck am I going to do? So Niall being Niall does his research. Does my research. First of all, I didn't find anybody that was locally that was in a price range. So I was thinking, I'm happy to pay that. So I was thinking, mm-hmm. right, well, do you know what? Curiosity got the better of me. And I thought, well, how do they do it? And basically what they do is they... Assess it. They first of all, they wet. They call it wet sanding. So they wet sand it and basically take layers, tiny fragments of the paint layer off until the scratches where the red paint had gone. Now, obviously, the paint that had yeah. completely, the paint that had completely gone. That was there's nothing you can do. Just apart from smooth that down for repaint, basically. Mm-hmm. So I ordered all the kit off Amazon. Now I'm talking paint for my car which is the exact match by ford which is the exact match for my car i mm. bought the fine sandpaper i bought the um scratch remover i bought the t-cut i bought the drill attachment so that you could really buff it out and i'm talking all come i watched maybe two hours worth of different videos on how to do it one video more than anything one video completely showed me how to do everything like from start to finish and he was like listen I'm not going to talk through this video. I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to do. This is not going to be a long process. This I'm going to show you how quick you can get rid of big paint scratches on your car. And he did it in eight minutes. Well, put it this way. I was outside 12, 12 minutes. And I'm talking. So I'm constantly spraying. So I'm constantly spraying it. First of all, you really clean the area. So I cleaned all the area where the scratch was. Yeah. Right. Cleaned it all. And basically got it all down to a finish standard where you can just see the scratch and the red paint. And then constantly spraying it with water as I'm wet sanding the area. So I'm not, and you're not like pushing, you just do it. You're basically just brushing it like that. So you're scraping very, the red paint off basically. Yeah. But you're yeah. doing it very, you're sanding it very softly. And I'm talking yeah. sand, spray, sand, spray. All right. To the point where I was amazed. I was absolutely amazed. So the big side swipe that was this big across the back of the back wheel arch and the door and the handle, and the yeah. petrol cap um 
was obviously red paint, red paint, red paint, big scratch. By the time I finished sanding, I got two little black marks, like basically where the paint had completely gone. That's it. That's all that's left. Yeah. So, so then I was like, right, okay. So then you have to, I tea cutted it down and then just buffed it. So obviously everything went back to its original shine. And then basically I got the touch up paint, went over it with one coat, left it to dry. And basically with the paint, you get this tool where you just basically, you put it on this fine sponge, wipe over the scratch. Yeah. Put the paint layer back on, left it a minute. No, left it five minutes, let it dry. Then went over it again with some, um, like acrylic cream is called where basically it just waterproofs it. Went over it again, left it an hour, went outside, buffed it back down. Couldn't even tell there's anything wrong with it. New job well for you then. <laughs> New business. Jobs up. Sideline. So, honest, honestly, I bought all this stuff for 30 quid. Uh, that's all right then. Sent most of it back, obviously. <laughs> Half a pot of cream. <laughs> Paint no, all the cream stuff. The dr- <laughs> like the, the drill attachment I sent back, the buffer thing, um, and some other bits that I didn't use in the end. But mm. basically, I just bought a bunch of stuff that was all for scratches. And anyway, put it this way: it's long and short of the story is like, don't get ripped off, like, and don't be afraid to do something. Because I thought the first thing in my mind went sandpaper, paint, Ooh. car paint. Do not mix. <laughs> I was thinking, this is it. Mike, I'm just going to end up doing the entire car, sand the entire car. <laughs> and I just thought, you know what, just just do it. Don't be afraid to do something or ask somebody around you that might be willing to go, do you know what, yeah, I can do that. It's no problem. Yeah, yeah. Because 30 quid later, and I've solved an issue that could have cost me a few hundred quid. Or I've got, my... I've got a, few, a few scratches of my wheel arches where one time I drove into the the main I'm post free. at Western Fable because <laughs> I don't know ask me why. Another time I think I've been hit twice in, like you said, car parks. But it's always on the wheel arches. And I never realised until I was cleaning my car one day and I thought, what the fuck is that? Why is it black? And I've got a red car, you know. So uh, I didn't hit your car, by the way. <laughs> I've got a white car. So... I know, but you had red marks on it. <laughs> So, I mean, yes, I did, you wanker. <laughs> but mine's a weird red, so it's all right. But yeah, like I say, I could maybe have a go at that. I mean, I don't know how long it takes for, like, how long you leave it for. Mine's been there probably a couple of years, at least two, three hey, years. It's fine. No matter how yeah. long you leave it for, it's fine. I just right. thought, just give it a go. Because yeah. the worst that could happen was. Like, I was like, right, well, now I have to pay for repair. You've made it worse. Yeah, yeah, and they're going to fix it anyway. As soon as I started sanding, and and I mean, I was like, I can't stress enough, like, don't go out and get a piece of, you know, really gritty sandpaper and fucking, it's fine sandpaper. It's really thin, and you literally are just doing that. And basically, the videos that explained it was, your car has a, your car basically has, like, three or four layers of paint sprayed, and every scratch you're taking mill milliscules of fragments off yeah like okay. you're not taking and it's like the scratch is on the surface so when you're sanding you're not going deep you are literally and it didn't do anything the sanding didn't do anything to the shine or anything it literally yeah took it off anyway long story short is give it a try if you have got a repair watch some video all these videos that are out there now they are useful for something People do this content because you can do these jobs at home yourself. Do you know what? One time, yeah, back in the day, <clears> I bought uh, a number plate for somebody, yeah, and I you filmed myself changing it. I'd never changed the uh, not a license plate, a number plate on a car before. Didn't know how to do it, so I'd watch some YouTube videos, yeah. So I thought, fuck it, I filmed myself doing it, and. The video is like six, seven minutes. I mean, I was pretty basic. Just explained what they said on it because you have to cut bits up, shit like that. Uh, drill holes in it, depending on how it attaches to your car. That video on YouTube now has 40,000 views. So obviously people are going on there. They don't know how to change the number plate. Mm-hmm. I thought it was easy. I'd never done it. I just thought, fuck it. I watched some YouTube videos like other video everyone else is doing. And I film it and I put it up. I was getting so many fucking abusive messages in the comments, though. Oh, you're a twat. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. 
and loads and loads of them. I kept fucking deleting them all. And I thought, how much abuse can I get? It's a number plate. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just fucking attempting it. And people the obviously is, do not know. Knows. Exactly, nobody, people don't know. If, because I've had 40,000 people fucking view my video. And I'm like, wow. If, if you're going onto YouTube <laughs> to look for a video on, on a how-to guide, yeah, chances are there. you don't... But chances are you don't know what you're doing. That's why we. That's why we search for the video. Exactly. I went through. I went through five different videos. One of them is really long and fucking pointless. Turns out the quickest video was the one that was most useful, and I watched it again and again and again. Mm. And I basically thought, "Is he having me on?" The the scratch was so similar in how mine was. However, I just think. All these videos are out there, you know, whether it's DIY, fixing your car, changing a wheel if you've never changed one, putting air in your car. How many people, you know, surprise me about how people don't know how much, what tyre pressure is. You know, all these little things. You've got to learn somewhere. Don't be a fucking afraid just to watch a few videos. I've seen, I've seen so many people achieve things by just watching a few videos. YouTube is the greatest gift God has given us. Thank it's you. been around for a long Hallelujah. time. Hallelujah. A long time. Not, not that long. To be fair, it's been around. It's been along. About 2008, YouTube came no, along. No, before that, before that, just before that, you know, not long. I was watching YouTube when YouTube hardly had much content in terms of like it was just it was things like Terry Tate, the office linebacker, back then. Charlie <laughs> bit like my that. finger. <laughs> yeah, that, way before. Yeah, way before that as well. Um. Here we go. I'm Googling okay. now. When did YouTube start? December 15th, 2005. Officially launched. Mm -hmm. Okay. 2005. Eight, yeah, 8 million views a day at that point. Wow, imagine how many views. It probably gets billions a day now. Mm. But Who's the owner of YouTube? Who Google. fucking owns YouTube? Google owns YouTube. Oh, those boys are making them in there. <sighs> Those yeah, boys biggest, are making a mince. Biggest, biggest platform in the world. And we're on it. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> well, we are on it. We, we are, are on it. it. Yeah. Have people been spotting our new business cards, by the way? Have people seen them around? Here we go. Yeah. Listen. If if you're in Northamptonshire area or Cornwall or, area or wherever else Niall has been going, by the time this video comes out, it could be anywhere. Mm -hmm. Let us know. Send us a message oh, yes. on any of our platforms, pictures, or just a comment, anything like that. Just let us know. And you might have a prize. Who knows? Could be. Go. We, could do, we could do some prizes. We could do, we some, could prizes. do some prizes. Absolutely. Yeah. So, obviously, I am going on a set trip in a few weeks' time. A special and... rocket ship flying through the sky. You've paused. S something Einstein. I'm not paused. You're paused. I'm singing. You're paused. Yes. So I'm going on a little <laughs> expedition. I'm going on a, a quest. I'm going to take the ring to Mordor. <laughs> and basically, and I'm, I was going to need. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. It will be. I'll tell you now. It, we were having a laugh, me and my brothers, about this. Because you know the, the protein bar, the Trek bars? Yeah. That you have. If you have like maybe like two or three of them, you are fucking shitting through the eye of the needle. Well, you won't Anyways. Be because you can't afford, they're at four or five pounds each. Fucking <laughs> you know. hell. Not on Amazon. You can get a box of, you can get a box of 16 for a tenner. Oh, he's already bought them. <laughs> whoop, whoop. You wait. So, I've been acquiring set items for this hiking trip that I'm going on. Um, oh, we did speak about this before, didn't we, Niall? And you said it's you were all going to show me. us some all items. Bits. It, is today the day you get your bits out? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, Woo! listen, before <laughs> disclaimer, before... So, obviously, this trip is... Let me just quick background. If you didn't see the previous episode, is that me and my brothers have been planning a trip for a long time, but basically we said one day we'll go, we'll go camping and we'll go hiking and we're going to go to all these do different hikes basically yeah. we're going to do three different hikes in a weekend we're going to the peak district i've never done it i've been camping millions of times however hiking trip i've never done and i thought i've got to start somewhere i don't own yeah. really any 
I don't own any hiking stuff. I don't own any camping. I didn't. I don't own any camping stuff. Um, so basically, I've been buying. Now, everyone who knows me, I like to buy decent stuff, but don't like to pay for it. I don't like to pay full price. <laughs> he steals it. So I steal it. <laughs> no. So I've acquired a lot of it from various places. Um, some from Vinted, some from Temu, some from Mountain Warehouse, some from I don't know, all sorts of places. Mountain I've gone over. I've gone is a... Quite expensive. Exactly. I've gone over the top. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and show you a few pieces of what I've bought. Okay. And then if you, you want to stop me along the way, Mickey, just to ask me some questions about it. Now, okay. I'm, think, I'm thinking, where should we start? And I'm thinking, this is the perfect place to start. At the beginning. Is that your this washing is, up bowl? It's my collapsible wash bucket. <laughs> <laughs> They're good, they are. I had, this, one, I, I had one for washing up. Is that what you mean, yeah? I had a rectangle. Yeah. Like a bowl well, basically, where, where we're going has no running water, Okay. So uh, okay. any, we have to take our own water, and I'll get to that as the show goes on. But I thought, well, listen, I'm going to want to have a little bit of a wash after my hikes. Come see your dad. He's got a collapsible wood kit. This was the grand total of 75 pence from Temu. Fucking hell, that's good. Now, if I get a one-time use out of this, a one-trip use, I've earned my money back. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> I've only got listen guys I've got 22 of these left available if you want to buy one we'll chuck in a free business card you can have it 20 quid each so I, the first... I thought you were using that for washing up but you're actually using it to like shower gel wash is that what you mean yeah yeah I mean I'll uh, use it for everything I'll okay, use it yeah, for yeah. everything All right, fair enough don't get me wrong now Obviously, uh, what should we do next? I'm, so, I'm I've got so much to show you. So little time. Um, We've got plenty okay. of time now, don't we? Sleeping. Let's let's go through sleeping, and then we'll go through everything else. So, yeah. Turns out the foam. Do you remember the foam camping mats that we used to have years ago when you went camping? They were useless. You like yoga mats? Yeah, they're very. Yeah, you, yeah. You woke up with a rock hard back. Well, I didn't want them. I wanted something that was providing a, a lot of cushion, a lot of luxury, and I opted for something called a multi mat. Now, this multi mat was supposed to be fifty five pound. This okay. is it. Multi mat, be comfortable, sleep warm. Packs down tiny, weighs absolutely nothing. Yeah. This is a single size multi mat. I paid the grand total. Of three pound, off vinted. Wow. Vinted. <laughs> so it's supposed to be it's supposed to be fifty quid. I pay three quid. So what does that do? Does that go under your sleeping bag? Yeah, it's a self inf and it's self inflating. So it's got a little air. It's got like a little air release valve on the side, and basically you unvalve it. It takes pressure in, inflates itself, and then you, know, you lock it up. Once it's got air in, away you go. Have you tried it though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've tried it. It works well. Uh, oh, I was going to say. Because uh, my main concern was, listen, if something packs down this small, what are the chances of me getting back in the bag? It went That's in fine. It, and it's really comfortable. Like, it gives you a proper good amount of cushion as well. Cushion for your push. And then, <laughs> cushion for your push. And then I thought, I'm going to need a sleeping bag. So I bought, yes. this is, this is a cadet, this is a, Van Gogh, it's technically like an army cadet sleeping bag, all right? Mm. It's really comfortable. It's feather down, so it's really thick. But everyone's like, oh, you'll be too warm. But it opens up. I don't like oh, getting in a cocoon. Camping. No, but I don't like, I'm not a person that gets in. I like it zipped open, and it'll just go on top of me. Oh. Do you zip in? I did. I recently... I, did, I recently bought a new one or got bought for me for my birthday last year, a new one, which is about twice the size because I've been camping recently and mm. it was quite narrow and I'm a fat fuck 
and I like to move about and like I can't have my legs like this I need to bend them like this to my hips and stuff so they don't hurt because I'm old and I couldn't do it in this one so my new one it's like this wide at my head and it goes it's like this and it's got two zips it's even got little zips to put your, pull your hands out hello and go on your phone <laughs> it's so cool. that is cool and it's re it's like a like nearly a, a one and a half to double size width so i can sort of move my hips around and my legs so mm. yeah i do i do like to like in in case myself as long as it's cold if it's really really warm then i wouldn't but mm -hmm. yeah yes yeah, so this is all right it's, it's big it's wide like yours like you said it's really wide however i get hot really quick over any time i mean i'm hot now it's fucking a normal temperature and i'm hot i always so that's the um that's the sleeping bag that was brand new a tenner off uh vintage and i thought well nice. that's fine so someone's you know? bought that and never used it and thought oh i'll sell it that's oh yeah it came with all i mean it's still got all its tags on and stuff so you that's know cool. it's never been used no, um that's all right okay so hiking boots i own a pair of hiking boots because obviously i've done a lot of walking so i do own a pair of walking boots but they're very let's say wintry they're very heavy walking oh, boots very yeah. dual and i'm gonna take i'm gonna take them on the trip because i don't know what the weather's gonna be like this is, this is the uk so we don't know what the weather's gonna be like <laughs> no but my brother said they're buying or had something called trail runners or like basically walking boot trainers where they're yeah. really light and i was like well i looked at the price of them and obviously me being a dad you know i don't have that much money I'm he joking. doesn't have a hundred pounds to spend on hiking boots. Yeah, these are like the, the cheapest ones that I could find that were like, because I'm fussy of what I'm going to put on my feet. Like, cheapest ones I could find brand new were coming in at like 80 quid. Yeah. Basically. So I bought, I found a pair that I did like and the brand that I liked and they were 120. I thought, I'm not spending that kind of money. I'm not doing it. I might, I might even only. This trip might only happen once, it'll never go again. So I managed to find the ones that I liked mm. on Vinted again. Fucking Vinted, Vinted again. <laughs> Got shares right. in it now. These are Columbia okay. walking walking trainers. Literally, they weigh absolutely nothing. But oh. the condition of them, the, I mean, they've only been used a couple of times. I don't care about second hand shoes, mate. No, like, I, I might only wear them. Like, I might only wear them a few times, but these are Columbia, whatever they're called. I don't know the actual technical name. Yeah. But, um, amazing condition. Very, very comfortable. What's Just on that subject, I bought oh, some... Oh, I like them. I like them. I, I bought these off eBay, secondhand. They're suede, brown suede. They're what original they? Nike Air Force One. Lovely. Didn't even know they did them in boots. Fucking well good. I paid thirty thirty three pound or something oh, off eBay. That's a good one. Oh, so yeah. there's no, nothing nothing wrong with second hand shoes, people. So Nowadays, these yeah, so you know. these hundred these sorry, yeah, hundred and twenty pound Columbia shoes. These are a tenner. A tenner. Wow. These were tenner. I might only use them once. You won't, because we'll go. We'll have to do a trip for sure. I've got all the gear. Yeah. Now. Yeah. So, so, so far, we've got the bucket, we've got the sleep mat, the sleeping bag, and the boots. Now, let's get to the good stuff. Temu. Oh, the bucket's from Temu. Uh -huh. So, this is, believe it or not, this is one of the Temu, famous Temu chairs. If you've seen them on TikTok, basically, this little bag goes under your chair, clips on, you can store your little bits in here once you've set up camp. Yeah, yeah. This chair, and I mean, it's a recliner, so it's like a, a line, it's a lounge back chair. Right? Okay, yeah. I don't know what to do. You can lay do down you want, it and go, woo. Do you, I mean, I can set it up, but it'll take me, it'll take me a couple of minutes, but anyway, it's all in there. Yeah. Poles are there. Right. Oh, nice. I was thinking, I was thinking, my entire family came around and I showed them, and they were like, Yeah, you fat bastard, ain't gonna hold your weight. My entire family sat on it, it held everybody's weight. 
Temu chair. Fiver, mate. Go and get one. Literally weighs kilo. Fat bag of sugar. Oh, nice. So that's that. Now we can go to the next item. The mountain warehouse. It's his tent. Oh, that's oh mountain warehouse one. That's good. It's two person. Two person. Pop up tent. That's good. Look at it. It's tiny. It's tiny. Well, not really, but yeah, it's smaller than a your average bear. <laughs> Listen. Little tent. This was in sale. This was in the uh, this was in the wind sale. I've had this what a couple of about three months now since we started planning the trip. I thought this okay. is going to be the first. I don't own a tent. This might as well be the. I used to own a tent. Don't anymore. This will be the first thing I bought. This thing was the grand price of twenty five pound. It's good. Now I was, I was thinking, is it shit? Read all the reviews. Everyone's like, no, it's perfect. It's got it's got a mosquito sheet on it. Like, mm. so you can let the breeze in before you go to bed, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Is it the one so, that's got the, the zip at the end or the salt in the middle? Because there's only one zip in there, isn't there? Have you not yeah, the zip, it's the zip at the front. So it's got a front zip. Oh, the front zip, yeah. It's not a side. Like, not... like a sausage shape, isn't it? The yeah, it's like a dome. Thing. Like a little yeah, yeah. long yeah. dome thing. Mm. Mate, easy. Yeah, I've done it. I've, I've got it out, unpacked it. I put it away first time. Easy. Twist, twisting it. Ooh, not me head off. Basically, you turn it, you you grab it all together, fold it in itself, and then just fuck it around and put the band over. Job done. That's good, man. So, that's that. And then, I was like, right, what do I need next? We've done the tent, we've done the shoes, we've done the sleep mat, done the chair. Now, obviously, anyone that knows me knows... I'm gonna need my coffee. So obviously, and I don't do sh I don't do instant coffee. Mickey knows this. Mickey is an Azira boy. We know that everybody. Everybody knows that he likes the shit stuff. I can't do it. Listen, I've got Italian roots. I don't, but I'm gonna pretend that I do. All right. So this is a little mini. Oh, Mickey's gone. <laughs> I He's was back. removing myself in protest. <laughs> so this is a little filter coffee device now what you do is you get your camping mountain warehouse camping metal right? mug yeah this by the way i got two of these this yeah. was free with my 25 pound tent oh cool two of them pack of two free with my tent you awesome. put this over you cup like this yeah you'll get you you get your decent coffee all right Fucking Starbucks. And you just you half fill it. You half fill it. Now you get you, you get ground. Is that ground, isn't it? Yeah, ground. Yeah, yeah. No bean. No bean. No you, bean. You get your you get your little your little um, water boiler. Boiled water. <laughs> Boiled water. It's got clips on the side, safety and all that jazz. Pour it in. <laughs> Decent coffee. All right. Nice. Come see you, Dad. Decent coffee. <laughs> now. You might have thought I'd gone a little bit overboard on the next item. My brother thought so too. But then this is another vintage purchase. This is a GPS tracking watch. <laughs> you're funny. Now, <laughs> oh, you're funny. This is this is a three hundred and fifty pound GPS Suunto Traverse tracking watch. So what is actually now, on that? Maps, all the routes that we're going to take, they're all preloaded onto an app on my phone, which then downloads into the oh, okay. um, to the watch. Yeah. Um, and basically, <clears throat> you just look down at your wrist, the route's already preloaded. At the end of the day, it tells you the elevation, it tells you the air pressure, it's got like an air pressure thing in the... Yeah. It tells you everything. It, oh. Literally, <laughs> it, tells you to get, it tells you to get a divorce after a camping trip because you spent... Three hundred and seventy pound on a watch. If you ever did, I did. I spent the grand total of thirty pound. Got the box and everything upstairs. Come with the box, the charger. Nice. Uh, turns out, the, turns out the person who owned this before me did a lot of serious hiking because all their routes were left on there. 
and they were doing like 25 mile hikes. Mine's going to be about six miles, <laughs> between six and eight miles. Start off small, um, it's fine. But also, if you do get lost, it has an emergency GPS beacon thing. Nice. Beep, 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 beep. So we go. That's the next item. So just before we, my brother... before we carry on, sorry, just for you guys listening, you have to go and watch this YouTube channel to really enjoy this episode because otherwise it's just going to be Niall talking about his shopping trip. So you want to see all these items that Niall's buying for his upcoming trip. You need to obviously download this episode on the podcast platforms, wherever you listen to us, and head over to our YouTube channel to watch this video. Sorry, Niall, Absolutely. carry on. Carry on. Do you know what? This All this stuff has been acquired over a period of time, and I've been buying it bit week by, by week, bit by bit, like... A tenner here, five are there, you know, little bits here and there. It's not all, this is not all just one big purchase. This is, I couldn't afford to go out and buy all this stuff brand new for one trip, you know. Right. At the end of the day, this is a trip that I thought, you know, I'm going to enjoy it, but I want to take the stuff and I want to get the stuff that I need. Uh, again, yeah. I've got no problem buying things secondhand or anything like that. I'll buy them. It does not bother me one bit. Like, at the end of the day, if someone's finished using it and I can get use out of it, and then, because I might just literally, half of this, I might just resell again when I've finished. Um, send it back to Amazon. <laughs> send it back. Although, yeah, the Temu stuff, <laughs> I can't send back. Um, so, you know, next you item. Where it, where it comes from. What else am I going to show you? So, I've done that. I've done that. I've done all this. The next item is, I don't own. I wanted, because obviously we're doing, one of the big, one of the hikes we are doing is 12 miles. I don't know mm. how long that's going to take. But everyone was like, oh, you're going to need a wa-. My brothers were like, oh, we're taking water bladders. You know, the things that go over your shoulder to you drink and stuff. I was, like, well, yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm going to need one of them. But I don't own like a hiking backpack. So I found another backpack again that I liked. Here we go. Story repeats itself, people. You know, I found a backpack I like, but it was 60 quid. I ain't spending 60 quid on a hiking backpack that I'm not going to use again. Although I probably will use this all the time for like holidays and stuff. Mm. So I bought this one. This is from Alpine Low. Low Alpine. Yeah. This is the Edge 18. Literally weighs absolutely nothing. By the way, this is filled with Temu shit and a load of other random random pieces of uh, random pieces of shit. That you're gonna show us. But it's it's the water bladder at the same time. That's the H2O bit. Oh, um, it's included in a bag. They're not separate. Yeah, so, can no, you no, buy no. separate ones that go onto your existing rucksack? Or well, on you can buy or underneath. Yeah. Yeah. You can buy just water bladder backpacks. So it's like as thin as it's like this, and it's just in a little but it's got arm things to go over your yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh, this okay. one, it just slots inside because I thought, well, what else am I gonna take in? But obviously this one, you know, I thought I can put all the shit here. It's got pockets everywhere. I'm gonna need my uh, camera stand. Uh, I haven't got I haven't got a GoPro yet. Don't own a GoPro, so anybody at GoPro wants to send us a free GoPro that I can take on my camping trip, <laughs> please do. Free GoPros or an action camera. Turns out just a 4K action camera can be quite cheap. That's 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 next on my list. Um, For the right, what, else? what else have I got? I right, here a, we go. After my my last trip, yeah camping i had a back backpack that wasn't suitable so i went on timu and i ordered my own camping backpack it's about i don't know two foot tall yeah mm-hmm. and you know it's got them bits that you you fold over and all the bits at the bottom and it's fucking yeah, yeah. massive so i can get all my tent my fucking my sleeping stuff my my eating stuff basically everything in there into one backpack because it's really big and it will cover my whole back and my ass oh so, fuck now yeah, it's really long. Hey, that is long. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, so, what am I going to show you next? Next items are... Uh, okay, the stove. Let's do the stove. So, again, this is a Temu buy. How safe this is going to be, we do not know. But we're not prejudiced. All right. This is my... This is my £6... Temu stove screws onto a gas bottle, and right. then you basically just 
put the prongs out so it looks a little bit like a like a cross yeah. screw it on your gas bottle you've got like a little gas switch on and then you twist yeah. it and as you twist it there's an ignition at the end so it clicks but i'm not going to do that because there's no gas bottle on it and then yeah that's my little stove and you put, and you put your your saucepans or your frying pan on top or your boiling oh, yeah, boiler yeah. thing yeah basically look this thing so bang that on top water boiling decent coffee <laughs> not coffee <laughs> decent coffee yeah and then when you finish with it fold it away literally all unclips goes back into a tiny little bag four quid four quid mate yeah i've seen them on that they, they seem all right they're all over tiktok i've seen i've seen videos everything i've bought i've watched videos of people using them and reviewing them first mm, yeah. you know it turns out everyone says they're really good so i was like fuck it mate i don't mind buying all this i don't mind buying all this stuff even if I'm saying the best, listen. the best, the best thing to happen to this world recently is TikTok shop and Timu. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh, absolutely. The amount of stuff Absol people buy for cheap. I bought twelve pairs of work socks for ten pound. I, I bought loads of shit. It, but, yeah. We do, that... we do a family, we do a family Timu order like once every couple of months of yeah, all the yeah. shit I you want to buy. Yeah. I bought garden lights. I fucking bought house <laughs> stuff. Fucking camping stuff. Um, my daughters had clothes off there. Um, fucking all sorts of shit. Right. What's next on the list? Uh, Don't know. What was in the bag? I bought this. This is a ten-litre water carrier. Oh, okay. It's off Temu. It's off Temu. It all collapses down. People are going to say, "Yeah, you need to wash it out first. I'm going to wash it out first, and all that. I know. Smell a fish. Not <laughs> doesn't really smell of anything uh, basically 10 litre water carrier this was a quid like I looked at I looked at water carriers here mm -hmm. in the camping shop that I went to they were like 15 20 quid I'm not paying that shit no so the water the water bladder itself this is the water bladder itself oh here we go so this is a two two litre water carrier. This okay. slots this slots inside the backpack. Right. This is the this is the straw and the like on and off switch. Let's say. Yeah. Basically, this this screws into here. You put it in your backpack. Put it in the fridge the night before, or whatever. And then yeah, boom. Away you go. There's your water bladder. And it'll come round and you'll stick it in your mouth. Come round and look at the size of the hose on the fella. It's a fucking giant hose. Listen, don't be watching them wild camping videos. Come and watch my video first. You get honest reviews. <laughs> about Niall's Niall's first camping trip, hiking trip. When is this okay. trip? This trip is uh, when are we on? Two weeks? Three weeks? Three weeks away, I think. Fourteenth of June. Oh. Yeah. Fourteenth oh, nice. of June. So, again, all this Temu stuff, this is all like what Mike said. Oh, you were just saying about Temu socks. Temu hiking yeah. socks. Performance. He ain't changing. <laughs> no, there's, there's three pairs. I bought three. This, this was a pack of three for two quid. Yeah. Hey, these are comfortable. I don't understand Temu. Why is it so cheap? And people, if someone comes back to me and says child labour, like, listen... They're, at least they're working for it. Yeah, I'm. I'm buying it. I'm, you know, I don't. People said, "Have you seen the state of the Temu factory?" And like, you know, look at all the parcels they have to go through. They've got jobs. Is what I'm saying. The people in the yeah. UK would not work for them jobs. Of course they would. Right? Look, look at all your lithium batteries that go in everything now in the in the mountains that all the kids are digging to produce your lithium yep. batteries for your tesla cars your iphones your samsung phones everything that, that we, what else? it's disgusting but we move <laughs> here we go so we're staying on a we're staying on a, a wild camp in grounds land and i've told you so you can go and camp anywhere on the ground yeah. but obviously it's the it's gonna be the middle of june so I bought some formula, jungle formula Ooh. for boat, for every bug, basically, from a tiger to a bear, 
you know, just spray it. So what do you do? You spray yourself else. or spray the area? If you see him, you spray, you spray this, him. This is, this is yourself. This is, this is for you, yeah? Oh, okay. So they're, they're not attracted <clears throat> to your skin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This bug spray. And then obviously for oh. the camp at night when we're having a fire, if there's any midges around, I bought a pack of citronella. Citronella. Ten hours, these candles are, but they keep all the bugs away, man. I don't want to be sitting eating my fucking noodles with fucking bugs around me, just, like, doing this all the time. It might, listen, no. I might not need them. People will be going, you don't need that shit. I probably don't need it. Depends but where I you are. A, I, I paid a quid for them, all right? It's going to be the middle of June. It could be warm, could be cold. And then I bought these little dry boxes. These are, like... Little cable boxes. Oh, I've got, got them, yeah, be... for my equipment. Yeah. I've got I got a pack of like like five or six in all different colours and sizes, um, orange ones, black ones. Mm. But I'm just going to be putting power banks in these and cables and basically just keeping all my fucking normal shit dry and clean. Um, where else have I bought? Uh, oh, my camping knife's in there. I won't show you that, though, because that's just a camping... I've got a camping, camping knife. knife, a big serrated edge on it. It's fucking quality. i got that Can't show it. <laughs> yeah. Can't show it on a video, though. But, yeah, I've got a camping knife. Yeah. Um, what's in this one? Um, Did you... Okay, I, was, yes. I also bought a camping lighter. Like a... Yes, yeah, got... With a blue flame. It's like a fucking nuclear bomb going off. i got got... Um, although, these it runs little out boxes... Quick, it runs out these boxes come with these weird stickers so yeah mm. um i bought that oh I, so i bought all the t do you know this so this is the original tiktok light you've got one yeah, of these yeah. haven't you i've got five of them now absolutely brilliant you've got the stand yeah clip anywhere you've got they're, they're uh, very bright as well they're amazing however i've seen a video right so basically that's one yeah it goes up again that's two yeah that's three. Yeah. Right. Be, should have SOS as but well. Everyone said if you want to make them brighter, if you turn it on, watch the brightness change in this now, really. See it? If you hold it in for three seconds. Oh. There you go. It gets brighter. Anyway, so I've got that. I've got two of them. Yeah, I've got brilliant. I've got two of these. These are packed. So this one cost me what? One pound fifty or something? Yeah, something like that. That was one, one pound fifty. I've got a pack of two of these single torches. Doctor, doctor ones. Look at these are like eyes. little. Look up. These are like little tactical torches. I love fucking <laughs> torches. Not, I don't know, I actually like fucking torches, but I like torches. And then the new version come out. Two point two point oh. <laughs> the this come out. This is the fat, but we call this one the fat bastard. This is the yeah, two I've, sides. I've got two of them now, yeah. But it's got like a little screw thing. So if you want to... Yeah, um, yeah, you can put it on a tripod or something. Yes, yeah, so you can have it. Put it on a tripod. Put it on a tripod. Yeah. But also in the middle of the tent, there is a torch thing. So when I'm like, you know, laying there at night, yeah, you can hang under it the up, stars, yeah. just... Nice landing. Or, just want to have a party. <laughs> Hopefully none of our listeners have got epilepsy. No, um, I do apologise. Warning for that a minute ago. <laughs> this you can tell this is the this is again, this is the fat bastard. But yeah. I don't know. What what I like these I like Timu. They're brilliant. Some of their stuff is amazing. I mean I've had this one ages and I've this one's I've had this one, it's died, I've fully charged it again. And there's nothing yeah. wrong with it. Like, I've, I've put it in the car. I've, fact, I've got one in the car. I'm not yeah. selling these people, but I just think these are fucking ace. Like, they are brilliant. Don't, I, I use mine on They take up no space. They take yeah. no space. They do, They weigh nothing. No. I think, I don't know for sure how much battery life you get out of one. I've probably used this one before, on and off for about three months before I charged it. Mm. Like, for like, yeah, you know, looking two for minutes. stuff. And, yeah. You don't, I think the rule is with torches, everybody knows you don't have a torch on for a long period of time. Unless, Normally. like, you're out. Yeah. But something like this, like, I've, I've got a big power bank. I've got a 3,000 3, milliwatt hours. 30,000. So, 3,000 is not much at all. 
Okay, yeah, thirty thousand. So it's it's a fat boy. It's a, yeah, yeah, it's, it's about eight one. eight phone charge one. Yes, about, about um, probably. So yeah, got that, and then look. So I've got the selection of lights, and then I thought, well, listen, you never know how far we're going. You're gonna need a head. <laughs> oh, you just goodness. don't know. You and listen, don't know. Uh, uh, this is this is regular this is regular drive. This is four wheel drive. Fucking hell. Right. Oh, he loves it. I fucking love it. Again, mate. Temu. But the best thing about this one... Temu shit is the best, man. This one's got a magnet on it. And, for some reason, like everything that comes from Temu, it's got a bottle opener. <laughs> Why it needs a bottle opener, I do not know. But it has one. But it's also... It's rechargeable. Yeah. So, you know, everything... Everyone's like, yeah, you should take battery stuff, but I don't want to carry batteries. Double A's ain't going to cut it, are they? I've got a big power bank. Exactly. I've got a big power bank. So, okay, what's next, people? We're, we're getting on now, and I know I've showed you a lot, and you've all been patient. But listen, this is just an episode about the, the kit. Mickey's wanted to seal this kit for ages. I've been buying it all. Okay, oh, another vintage purchase here. Obviously, I don't know if it's going to be warm or cold. So I've got hiking trousers. I bought them. They're upstairs. But I bought a pair of like elite shorts, like dry, proper rough. These were supposed to be. These are supposed to be sixty quid. See that? Sixty quid. All right. I paid fiver. Not vinted. Vinted. Although they're a bit big. But you know what? We'll make it work. <laughs> you eat some cake. <laughs> I'm trying to lose weight, not put it on. Yeah, but you're feeling uh, short. <laughs> what's next? What's next, people? Oh, here we go. Spork. Oh, yeah. Spork, bottle opener. Timu, 50p. Honestly, my entire <laughs> Timu basket was fuck all. I was put all sorts of shit. Oh, I don't want to get this out, but this is a fire guard. This is like oh, is it the metal, oh, the metal one with the different compartments yeah. that go around it like that. Yeah, yeah I got one of them. That's like four quid off Amazon. I bought. I got mine a long time ago. Temu again, and then been through the stove. We've done that. Oh, okay, I think that's it for the backpack. Oh, the final yeah. surprise. Yeah, go on. Go on. Oh, I thought I thought you said you had stuff in your backpack. That's what you've been getting out of your backpack, has it? Yeah, that's this is all my bit. I've got okay. a couple of lighters in there. I've got two lighters in there. I've got some. I've got two little power banks that are fully charged. I've got all my lights in there. I haven't done any cables yet. I'll be taking my iPad. I've taken a fan because I've got a rechargeable fan. I'm taking. Yeah. Bear in mind, I'm not. By the way, anyone, everyone's like my brother's like, oh, it's a good job I'm not carrying all of this. We're not carrying it all. We're gonna we're gonna set up camp and then we're gonna go for our hikes. Yeah. yeah. The only thing I'll be carrying is my backpack. Um, I thought, do you know what I mean? Me and all my brothers we're all older, and I thought to myself, well, listen, we're only gonna do this trip once. So I bought everyone a little, I bought everyone a little surprise for the trip. So I bought myself and all my brothers. Are you ready for this? I bought us all. Matching toes. Here we go. No. <laughs> full on full on redneck. I bought us all. A bandanas. Um, matching pit matching pit vipers. Oh wow. <laughs> Thank These are supposed to be like I don't know how much pit vipers are. These are supposed to be about hundred quid each. My old mates in uh my old mates in China. <laughs> Fiver. <laughs> Listen. Wow. I like the other ones, to be fair. I like the, the light blue. I think they're quite cool. I like that colour. So, so, so I've got this colour. Yeah. You can, these are on TikTok shop at the moment. All right. So we've got this colour. got this colour. There's a green colour. We've got a green. The green I like. Oh, very nice. Okay. So we've got them. Um, we've got them. Um, <laughs> and we've got them. Um, 
<coughs> they haven't seen the boys haven't seen these yet. No. But I was like, mate, we're gonna redneck it. We're rednecks, man. Pit Why are they red? The way. <laughs> these pit vipers are like, um, do you know, like deep South American oh, is truck it? truck driving? Just type in pit vipers on TikTok. Okay. Right. They're very. Um, I mean, everybody wears them, but they're like very Alabama. Deep okay. South. Yeah. Comfy though. Very yeah. comfortable. Very, very horrible too. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think for now that concludes. That's probably that's not everything, but that's everything I've got here. Oh, okay, that's pretty much a lot of standard shit. base though of what what's normally needed for. Uh, it looks a lot, but it ain't a lot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've got sleep stuff, a stove, some shoes, and some water. You know, cooking equipment and lights. Yeah. I did do a list. I'm not going to lie, everybody. I did do a list of all the shit that I will need. Sorry if this episode has been a bit rambled on, but it's our show, so fuck off. We do what we want. All right? Deuces, <laughs> motherfuckers. Yeah, deuces. <laughs> we do what we want on this show. It ain't up to you. It's up to, it's up to me. It's up to me. It's up to me. All right? But yeah, yeah I've enjoyed buying it all. Um, will I enjoy using it all? I don't know. Will some of it break? Yes. Will the shade yeah, thing last is, about? The thing, the thing is, though, you will, your brother's taking the piss out of you for buying all that shit. You'll be in there. I'll you'll, have be, it, they you'll be living your luxury life in your little tent. So. Uh, and now we're going, can I, borrow you, can I borrow your spork? The answer is no. Fuck Get off. Can I borrow your lighter for my stove? No, fuck off. <laughs> they won't even have stoves. I know for a fact they ain't taking stoves. They are not taking stoves. I have to remind them to say, listen... I said, Lance, like, make sure you take a chair. Make sure you've got something to sit on at night. Like the floor's hard. Like, because, yeah, you're sitting on the floor, basically. cross leg like at school. I was going to put all this stuff in a fucking... I was going to put it on a big holdall, like you said, a big giant holdall. Mm. But I thought, oh, I'm not going to do that, because, like, I don't want to take up more space in the car. So what I've done is I've got... I told you, you know, I've got one of them black, black big, heavy yes. tote boxes. But it's only like, yeah, it's, out of it's, only, <laughs> it's only like this big, but it all fits yeah, in yeah. perfectly. And I thought to myself, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it upside down, cover it in tin foil, and then just put my fucking, do my stove on there. Yeah. yeah Easy. Right. Should be fine. No, melting plastic never hurts anybody. No. So yeah, this is all my, um, this is all my, this is all my gadgets. <laughs> I've enjoyed buying it though, honestly. I fucking love it. Camping is fun, you know. I really enjoy. It. I'll be going camping again soon. Uh, I think Scot- we need to pl- we need to we need to plan a trip. In Scotland, I'm going, but yeah, we can plan somewhere. I've actually yeah. got a place a place in mind in a certain forest near us, so with a oh, spot that nobody goes to, so it will be oh, a bit. Mate, really no, not that broke back, not that broke back shit, mate. You yeah, can leave. Disgraceful. Listen, nobody knows what happened on the fishing trip with Bryn. All right, we knew you were there. Christmas Day, I was filming it. <laughs> oh, mate. So yeah, that's all the shit, people. That's all the shit I've been buying. Nice. All right, before we carry on, I've got all the comments to read from the last couple of episodes. So give me a second. So we're going back to um, 102 first with Paul, who was the unusual things celebrity grave connoisseur. So we have first comment from Dirt Monkey. Thanks, lads. Loved Under the Banner from Heaven. Binge watch that in a couple of days. Yeah, that was a good show. That was a I, don't know that, boss I don't show. know what that is. Don't <laughs> okay. watch it. Okay. It's about the um it's about the Latter day Saints. Oh uh, yeah. You know what they are. Would... Yeah, go and watch it. Give it a go. Another comment from the Aqua Adventurer, awesome pod. Great to see you, Paul. Enjoyed this one. Uh, Thanks, and then we have our Aqua Adventurer. Uh, yeah, our great supporter, Danielle. Danielle Adele Sheehan. What a cool guy Paul is. Defo going to give his channel a follow. Now you also have at Graceland, Lisa Marie and works. her son, Benjamin. That's how it works, people. Networking. The possibilities exactly. are endless. 
Yeah, so sad that Lisa died the same way her father did and her son so young too. Niall, defo try the past life regression. It would probably be an answer to a few questions for you. Fantastic episode, guys. Thoroughly enjoyable. So thank it. you so much, Danielle. Episode 103. Another one from Danielle. She says, I've got one of the big bottles still. You know, you put your money in the plastic bottles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put yeah. your change in. All 20p down goes in it. Martin Lewis has been trying for years to get the government to include financial education as part of the curriculum. Sadly, they haven't done out. The Rose no. Hanbury thing has been known for years. Super injunctions have stopped it being reported in England. But her youngest is supposed to be Wills. What's the Rose Hanbury? I can't remember that. Was that the uh, was that the the woman who was having, supposed to have an affair with Prince William? Yeah, supposed I to be. Don't know. Prince William had a child, wasn't it supposed to be? But that's just a rumor. We're not oh. doctors. Don't sue us. Uh, another great episode, though, guys. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So thank you, Danielle. Right, we thank have one hundred and four dirt monkey. Thanks, lads. Oh, how I chuckled Thanks, at this lads. one. Mayo on bacon sarni. I kind of get it because you have, you have a, because you have chi a chicken bacon salad sandwich and they're covered oh, in mayo. Fuck off. No, but a hundred percent, you should never have mayo on sausages. Brown sauce on sausages only. I used to eat cottage cheese on digestive biscuits though. Not had it for years. Cottage cheese. Because I said about putting Philadelphia on, didn't I? Uh, and Danielle, oh Niall, you were a good one. <laughs> like a bloke who has not had a shit for three years. No, not had sex for three years, then got laid last night. You must have been hyper that day. But I'm an evening snacker, terrible habit, trying to cut back. No Mickey, <laughs> I love a bit of mayo, even with a roast dinner, but not in a bacon sandwich. I go for the honey smoked barbecue. That's just weird with the video. Mind, mind you, get some straight weird ones online fab episode guys <laughs> amazing thank you for your comments i've not people. finished he's not finished, not we're, gonna, finished. We're, we're gonna roll we're gonna go we're gonna, we're gonna go again this is 106 fighting at costco etc with st george's mm -hmm. day uh we have a comment from nick stepani i bought my first nick ever sat nav from costco so I've never been there. You go to quite a lot, don't you? Costco. Again, need to take it's Costco. Need yeah, to that's take a day you. out. We'll film it and put it on an episode. Oh, we'll take some. We'll take some business cards. <laughs> Leave them everywhere. Yes. Yeah. So episode one hundred and eight. Uh, this was about Gavin and Stacey owning a dog, um, and you prepping your hiking trip. I think. And this is from Master Josh. To be fair, I understand what Niall is talking about with planning and preparing for everything, just in case one of the many potential scenarios happen. I found it causes me more stress to try and ignore it, and so I prefer preparing for anything I reasonably can, even if others consider it over-preparing, because you never know what will happen, so preparing for it just, just in case makes sense to me. That's my son, actually. Thank you, Josh. Uh, Rod Thank you, Josh. Father, Rod Father, six seven four nine. Miss my camping days. Ooh. I I had a list: dry goods, utensils, matches, and an empty coffee can, etc. Then put the list in a bag to keep dry. Camping trip comes up, pulls the list out, off we went. So, job done. Easy. I think for that. This is it. Listen, that'll be me. That'll be you with your. Couple of days, just coffee in there. Oh, don't don't forget the filter. Don't forget the filter, no, yeah. guys. Otherwise, you just be chewing it. <laughs> All right. Listen, I have immensely enjoyed this show because I get to fucking to one talk about my camping trip. Play with toys. I'll be honest with you, everybody. My my wife is absolutely sick to death of hearing about the said camping trip. The deliveries that we've had for all this vintage Temu, different places. <laughs> um, yeah, she's been fucking, she's fucking annoyed with them. She's had enough. She's like, listen, I wish you'd 
she's like, she's like, we should just fucking go now. So then you can come back and put the shit away. We stop getting the parcels. Now, if I've missed anything off that list and people think I should take it, please comment what you think I should take. Now, yeah. the only thing I don't have here, obviously, i.e. clothes. The other, the other item is a jacket. I'm taking a jacket. I've already got the jacket. Waterproof. Um, North Face kindly sent me a jacket. They sent me one and said, listen, take our best jacket. Let us know where it is. Have it for free. You know, this is like an Everest ex- expedition. They do Everest and then they do the Nile expedition. So, yeah. And then they, they gave me a, £400 <laughs> at the end of your journey. <laughs> yeah. So that's that. So sponsored by North Face. The only thing I don't have is the gas. I haven't got the gas bottle for the stove yet, purely because I just haven't bought it. And I didn't want to keep it. I didn't know where to keep it. I was, in like, the garden. I'm, I'm sh- Mine's in my garden. Yeah. I, but I was just like, I didn't know where to keep it. I don't, so I'm going to buy it a couple of days before the trip and then just fucking put it in the shed. I'll put it in the shed. Shed will do. Yeah, yeah. It's only a, Wood. It's gas. only like... It's like... <laughs> it's fine. It's like, it's like this big. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. It's a little gas canister for the stove. But if you think I've missed something off that list and people think, oh, you should definitely take this. I'm Let taking cables, taking power banks. Let us know. And yeah. me and Mickey, I think we definitely need to plan a little trip so I can get some second use out of the chair. And uh, <laughs> I'll bring more. I'll bring some extra of this for Mickey. All right. Yeah. You, and I'll shit and, um, on it. GPS tracking. All right. Yeah. Traverse tracking march. It's probably not going to be needed. I don't need it, but still, I bought it. On that note, people, thanks for joining us on another fantastic episode of Dads, Lads, and Kebabs. Bye. Deuces. Fuck off. <laughs>